Once upon a time, there was a typical American girl who happened to bump into a typical red-blooded American boy. And she bumped into him and bumped into him. <laughs> so they decided they'd better sit down and talk this over before they had an accident. And after a while, he did what any red-blooded American boy would do. Samantha, will you marry me? They had a typical wedding, went on a typical honeymoon, in a typical bridal suite. Except, it so happens that this girl is a witch. Uncanny. It's identical. I, I told you. <laughs> Say it like it's a completely matter-of-fact thing. Guess what? What? I'm a witch. That's wonderful. <laughs> we'll talk about it tomorrow. Now. Yeah, it's not like it's a big deal. I'm not a bad witch, and we're we're getting it all out there, and we're telling the truth, right? Right. I am a witch, a real house haunting, broom riding, cauldron stirring witch. <laughs> It must be the champagne. It's been a hectic day for both of us. This getting married is not as easy as it looks. Would I say I was a witch if I'm not? Great. So you're a witch. <sighs> Come on, let's go make out in the hall closet. Jack. OK, OK, I'll play along. Like it's an improv. <sighs> Prove it. I have yet to see a table lighter that works. Just once, I would like to see. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh-huh. I had no idea you were an amateur magician. Oh. Sweetheart, we all imagine things. Well, I myself. <laughs> Hang on. What? Oh! Oh! Witches on her? What? <laughs> I'm just being Endora. A mortal? You married a mortal? Oh, my poor, poor baby. This is just horrifying. I like Samantha the way she is, Endora. She doesn't need any of that other nonsense. Nonsense? Darren doesn't mean anything. My darling, we are Quicksilver. We're a fleeting shadow. We're a distant sound. That's we your live mother. on the wind in the sparkle of a star. <laughs> and you want to trade all that for an acre of crabgrass? Did she just call me an acre of crabgrass? Deal with it, Durwood. So from now on, watch your step, young man. Mother is watching you. How dare you speak like that to your father? <laughs> Isn't there a spell that can make you stop crying? No, darling. Father, if you love me, please bring him back. Does it really mean that much to you? He's idiotic, and yet I find him completely charming. It's been like that since the beginning. Only now, I also hate him. Love. I love him. With all my heart, I love him. Please don't take him away from me. <sighs> Very well. My. Uh, oh, what a mess! Oh, oh. Your own Clara used to be able to make a clean landing. Uh, oh, the, oh, oh, and Dora was right. I should have traveled by bus. Oh, and Clara. Oh, thank <laughs> goodness you 
you're here. Oh, oh, it's so nice to see you again. Oh, it is nice to see you too, dear. I am in the middle of a total, total crisis at work. I'm quitting. Oh, you mustn't quit. The show must go on. I don't know what's real or what's the TV show. Heidi Ho. No! Look what the cat dragged in. Somebody is retaining water. Uncle Arthur, it's you. Got a riddle for you. What's worse than finding a worm in an apple? Finding you in the mirror. Oh, no, you're going to crack the mirror, aren't you? Oh, you watch too much television. Uncle Arthur. Hi, Sammy. You get out of there this minute. Come closer. Do I have something in my teeth right there? Where? Look. <laughs> What happened? Well, it doesn't work on me, but I love you. And that is the truth, the whole truth, and etc. <laughs> <laughs>